Hi guys this is Vishal welcome to my channel the Java Tech Learning in this video i'm going to demo about creating kafka consumer with spring boot framework in order to consume a string and json type of messages from kafka topic if you find my content helpful then please like and subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends and group so let's get started okay so i am on intellij okay so i'm using the same application that we have created last time okay the only thing is i have renamed it to spring kafka message producer consumer okay because adding we are adding the consumer part last time we added the producer properties okay now we will add the consumer properties so similar to spring kafka producer we have a spring kafka consumer okay so here i will add consumer colon within it first property we have it's the same bootstrap server so i will copy from here and add it under consumer then we have similar to key serializer and value serializer this time when you read the value or when you consume the value from topic we need to deserialize it so we have a key deserializer and value deserializer so these two properties we have in the consumer okay so key d serializer right value here similarly we have value deserializer right now here first we are going to read the data of type only string so we will use string deserializer okay so string deserializer also present under same package okay so i will copy the package name here right and what is the class name so if i just check here so this is the class name string deserializer you see this is present under same package so i will copy this class name and add here right next property is the group id okay we need to group the consumers by specific id okay so group id right so again colon here you can give the custom name to your group okay so i will mention spring boot kafka consumer right so this is my custom group id right i am going to create one more property not specific to or not kafka specific property it's my custom property to declare the topic name okay so topic colon name this is my custom property and here the topic name from where i'm going to read the messages the topic name we created last time is spring underscore boot underscore kafka underscore topic underscore v1 so this is our topic name and this is my property this is the custom property i have added okay so this is all about our consumer related properties now next we will create the config file okay so here the config package is created i will create one class here name config i will annotate this with spring at the rate configuration annotation right that means it's a configuration class here first we need to create the consumer factory okay so public consumer factory right this one we need to mention key and value that is string again value is also of type string name of the bean consumer factory right okay i will annotate this with at the rate b this will return new default consumer factory right now this consumer factory will read the properties of type consumer and as you know like i said in the last tutorial these properties are mapped to one java class that is kafka properties that kafka properties we can add over here kafka properties right 
as soon as you add here in the parameter okay in the method it will be automatically an auto wired now here in the default consumer factory constructor we can use this kafka properties dot there is a method called build consumer property so it will extract all consumer related properties and create the consumer factory right so this is one bin now we need to create one more bin that is called container factory okay that is required for listener purpose okay so i will create public kafka listener container factory right within it concurrent message listener container right of type string and string okay here i will give name to this kafka listener container factory okay again i will annotate it with at the rate b okay i will create an object of concurrent kafka listener container factory concurrent kafka listener container factory right okay again here we need to mention what is the key and value type right i will name it as a factory new kaf concurrent kafka listener container factory right and within this factory we have a method called set consumer factory and here i will call this method so this consumer factory requires one parameter that is kafka property so we need to mention this kafka properties in the container factory as well so this will be automatically auto wired here as well okay kafka properties and i will pass it to this consumer factory right and here we will return this factory so this is our consumer related configuration now we will create the listener part okay so i have this consumer package created i will create one class here called spring boot kafka consumer all right enter i will mark this with at the rate service annotation and here i will add one method public void listen right of type string value right and here we will print the value whatever we have read okay saying message received and this is value all right this is not done yet so this is only plain simple listen method we need to annotate it with the kafka listener okay so at the rate kafka listener okay within it we need to mention the topic name under this topics you know tag and here i will mention my property that i have created in the application yaml topic dot name so topic dot name which i have declared here which will refer to my topic name right then if i add comma there are many you know properties here we have okay the next property is container factory right so we need to maintain the container factory this container factory we have created in the config file this one kafka listener container factory so i will copy this bean name and i will provide here right so setup is completed now let's try to run this application okay as you see application is started and it has also started the consumer to read the data from the topic right now we will publish some messages and we will see here okay so meanwhile i'll clear this console so we can see the messages here i'll go to postman okay i'll first use the get command to push the string messages so i'll say hello world right enter right you see message successfully pushed on topic and same time consumer has read the message hello world right i'll do some 
other message also great learning right same will be picked up immediately that means consumer is reading or listening to the topic every time as as and when message is published it will read it all right so this is about reading the string messages now let's make a simple changes in our application and try to read json messages now here in the config file okay so here in the first consumer factory bean we are creating an object of new default consumer factory so we are creating an object of default consumer factory class okay so if i go inside this class right you see there are two constructors available okay primarily we are focusing on okay so one is the constructor with only map that is reading the consumer properties second constructor with the three parameters one is consumer properties that is map second is key deserializer third is a value deserializer so basically this consumer factory can override the key and the value deserializer properties that is being passed from our application yaml okay and this is what i am looking for okay so i'll go back to my config class and i'll add two more properties so one i'm going to keep key deserializer same that is string so key d key deserializer of type string but for value i want json deserializer of type tutorial that is the java object i have created tutorial dot class so basically we have overridden the key and the value deserializer properties we have mentioned here so this values are no longer required so basically we can remove them okay i've added this string and the json deserializers okay and i'm going to read the messages of type tutorial so this is my value now so i need to declare this here in the consumer factory value is no longer string it is tutorial same changes i need to do for the container factory as well replace string value with the tutorial right configuration is ready okay this is what i needed second changes i'll go to consumer here we are going to read tutorial not the string right because we are will have a json object and that json object we will print with two string methods so that all properties or all the attributes within it will be printed on console so this is about our setup to read json messages so i'll go ahead start the application and we'll test it all right application is started consumer is also started i'll clear this console okay i'll go back to postman so this is my post request this is my example json body right i'll click on send okay message is published you see message is published and same time we have received this message and this time it's a json message right if i do one more time i'll change this topic id to 104 tutorial number to second i'll push again you see second message so with minimal amount of changes i'm able to read json message as well so this way we can build the consumer using spring boot and read the messages from kafka topic thank you for watching